just a little rain. Some severity, though. Storm Track Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater has issued a weather aware day coming up. Yeah, that's for Saturday and Sunday. We have so many events going on across our area, and so many people will be outside. We're going to have lightning as well as a lot of rain. And Birmingham, three days in a row now. Good downpours and rainfall starting to make the ground a bit soggy in a few areas, but believe it or not, some of you have gone without any rain. Quick look at our storm track weather headlines. Showers, thunderstorms increasing in coverage, thunderstorms likely over the weekend, and as Sherry mentioned, I've issued a weather aware for both Saturday and on Sunday. Next three hours, we're going to see temperatures into the upper 80s, most spots. Now around Birmingham, the temperature 78 because of the rain-cooled air, 85 by 7 o'clock, 81 at 8 o'clock, and the chance of a few showers not out of the question. Here's a look at the uh, radar across the southeast for the past three hours. Not as active across Alabama today, but we did have a few thunderstorms that developed. But as we get into the weekend, this will become our problem. This area of low pressure, which is bringing so much rainfall to Texas, well, that is going to have an impact on not only Louisiana for today, but then Mississippi later tonight. And then as we get into the weekend, it will begin to affect us here locally. All we have around Birmingham is just a little bit of light rain, but there are other thunder showers that have been popping up. This cluster of thunderstorms now in Vernon tracking towards the north and east, headed towards Beaverton and eventually Henson Springs. And you can see the time frame anywhere from 15 minutes for Pine Springs to 32 minutes for Henson Springs. And then north of Tuscaloosa and Holt, we have a, a few thunder showers. These are actually three different cells that are tracking towards the north and east. You'll see places like Little Shoal and Gilmore get those within the next 20 to 30 minutes. And there's a batch of rain now, which is actually dying down just a bit, but it is moving out of northern Lamar County, headed towards Hamilton. So it will be in Hamilton within the next 15 to 18 minutes. And this is the most concentrated hour of showers and thunderstorms, or at least this hour, most concentrated area. And that will be the trend through the night. I expect that we'll still see an isolated shower or thunder shower at least until midnight. Then things quiet down overnight into early tomorrow. Muggy, mostly cloudy start, very similar to what we've had the past number of mornings. And then the chance of showers and thunder showers will begin to develop again. Now we do have the Jazz Fest, which is going on, the Magic City Jazz Fest, as well as Alabaster City Fest this weekend. So keep in mind, even though things don't look uh, that bad as far as rain chances go, Tomorrow, we still could have a decent amount of thunderstorms popping up through central Alabama. Tonight, fair, warm, muggy, isolated thunder shower, 70s the low. And again, we've got weather aware for Saturday and Sunday. So have your phone app absolutely free. You can download it, WIAT 42, and that will help you to keep up with lightning as well as the radar. Temperatures cooler thanks to the rain, but Sunday just looks like a soggy mess. And then rain finally moves out early Monday with drier air moving in.